worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Summed him up right there, I think. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Get your PK, browse and buy. It's the name of the game. That could save you in a pinch. They barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place what upside down. What can I down. get for you? You made this peacekeeper mighty happy. Buy, sell, whatever. I love doing this. You got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors too. The horn, I mean. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person, I took a nap and then boom! I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food. But it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay. Maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one has shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle will just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them.
You are awesome. I know you made it in time too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got some spare time? Because if you do, because I got another sausage run to prevent the runs. And you, you already know where to go. This isn't an urgent race like the last one, but in this weather, you have to be careful with food. The faster it lands in someone's stomach, the better for everyone. Definitely the best honey in Villador. You a beekeeper or a brewer? I'm both. That's the secret of my double bark. You must have noticed most beer in this town tastes like piss. Well, you're not wrong. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody cares about taste anymore. Does that surprise you? The truth is, so-called brewers nowadays are damn amateurs. <laughs> and you're a pro, I gather. You bet. And it's an excellent time for my trade. Demand for beer is higher than ever. Brewers are in the top 10 most stable jobs in this city. Right after the Undertakers? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice one. As for me, I'm dedicated to nurturing my yeast and my bees. Your bees? Yup. You know what the secret ingredient is to brewing the best beer in town? Besides love, of course. I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Honey. And to harvest the best kind of honey, you need the best fed bees. Speaking of which, maybe you could help me with my bees. Feed them some sugar? I have my own special beehives in the area. Put them up high to keep them out of reach of those who steal my honey. I can try. Where exactly are these beehives? First, you need to find the bags of sugar I've left nearby to feed them. If you find the bags... You'll find the beehives. There are three of them, all close to each other. The first one is on a rooftop just nearby. If you look towards the main terminal, you can see it from here. The second is on the rooftop of the main terminal building, below this big tower covered with a peacekeeper's banner. And the third one is on the top of the main terminal station, just beside one of the statues. Please do it quickly. Business is so brisk I've neglected them lately. Oh, they're probably starving. I guess I'm more of a brewer than a beekeeper after all. <clears throat> oh, a bag of sugar. I can save Barack's bees from starvation.
wife was in the She was among the first to go when THB hit us in 24. I miss her every day. Looks like we have a safe place to crash by the windmill now. Look at that. And another windmill. Looking back to try? In operation. Thanks, Aiden. Sure. Good for you. Thank you for your custom. When one of us is killed, they barely know it. But when they're near, nearby. Thanks. I really didn't want to die like that. Are you easy chief he ain't pk how do you know they're creeping around here all the time he's that outsider the pilgrim what he's from outside the walls well fuck me i don't know what brings you here but watch your back pilgrim and stay away from the pks they ain't no one's friends this time with a biomarker Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. You cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, Free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism. 
Belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community, a society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well, but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Someone's been stealing our water, and nobody's doing anything about it. Such a shame. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. 
Well, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about him. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine, I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Time for delay. Forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay then. What does your hungry soul crave? Someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can, and now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, 
Give him the password Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Back in the day, I had a huge, a massive, uh, uh, and, well, and... Uh, Wonder where all the guns are. Ready went, to right? peruse my wares? The army sees him after the event. A workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Shop elsewhere, <laughs> and be this. Uh... Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! <laughs> They've already sent one of their. <laughs> F fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... A uh, uh, hundred and twenty... A uh, hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. I craft and carry only the finest. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own and throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. 
I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry! 